हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू पांडे गुरुजी यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन ऑफ द बिजनेस एनालिस्ट व्हिच इज आस्क ऑन द इन द ऑप्टम ग्लोबल सॉल्यूशन कंपनी दिस इज पार्ट ऑफ द यूनाइटेड हेल्थ ग्रुप सो वन ऑफ स्टूडेंट ही फेस द इंटरव्यू फॉर द बिजनेस एनालिस्ट प्रोफाइल एंड ही शेयर कपल ऑफ द क्वेश्चन सो i am going to discuss all this question and uh, this all the question very important uh, for the interview point of view if you preparing for the business analyst and uh, uh, this question is very repeatable uh, definitely you will get the this type of the question in the uh, interview and uh, if you not able to answer this type of the question it very difficult to uh, in the selection area so uh, before starting uh, this video if you uh want to learn the complete uh, sql you can visit uh, studyidteducation.com and uh, you can enroll all these courses uh, which is the available on this uh, website you can also uh, download my uh, mobile application uh, which is the given in the video description and the all the course link are is mentioned in the video description uh, you can download and uh, uh, you can uh, purchase any of the courses which is the very Uh, reasonable price. We have uh, complete SQL training material. Uh, we have the interview preparation material. We have the self learning material. Each and everything is available in my uh, website studyiteducation.com. So let's start with this uh, question and uh, uh, let's see how we can answer all this type of the question for the uh, profile. Uh, that is the business analyst interview question. Uh, which is the ask in the optum global solution so i will explain each and every question in the detail and uh, if you have any question if you have any doubt you can put the question in the uh, video description and uh, uh, this question is very helpful to crack any type of the business analyst uh, interview question so uh, the uh, first one is the what is the what is the brd and uh, how it is different from srs so uh, if you prepare for preparing for the business analyst interview uh, brd is a very uh, common question or the uh, brd is the very uh, starting question you can face in the interview so basically brd is the uh, business requirement document uh, so any requirement came from the client so and uh, whatever the client have the requirement each and everything uh, documented into the Uh, brd uh, requirement document so uh, business requirement document so this is a formal uh, contract between the organization and the client for the development of the of a specific pro, uh, product so in the brd document we have the agreement of the developer point uh, side as well as the from the uh, client side that uh, this is the requirement and we are going to uh, develop so that each and everything is documented into the brd document uh, but uh, uh, what is the meaning of the srs okay so srs and is uh, uh, basically uh, ba created after their direct interaction with the client so uh, this uh, uh, document is created by the uh, business analyst okay so B brd is created by the business analyst after their direct interaction with the client where SRS is designed based on the technical expertise. Like uh, uh, we can say, uh, we we also like the business analyst who working into the uh, technical uh, area, so they can convert in the more in the technical part. And indirectly, we can say that uh, we need to be convert the business requirement to the technical requirement. Okay, like terminology, we have the business requirement, but technical requirement we have the different type of the terminology. so uh, the uh, we have need to be create another document that is called the srs so srs is the basically is the derived from uh, brd so we, if you can say the brd uh, brd is the top on the srs so uh, srs is the derived from the brd okay so srs have the more technical terminology involved so that will be very helpful for the uh, developer to understand the business requirement so uh, i hope you understand what is the difference between the brd and the srs now the second question is the what do you understand by requirement 
can you difference between the requirement and needs so what is the difference between the requirement and what is the difference between the needs okay so if you look like uh, uh, both the word requirement and the need a little bit same okay so exactly how you can differentiate both the terminology so basically a requirement is a targeted solution and representation to achieve the specific business objective stakeholder evaluate the project based on the set of condition requirement uh, before it is implementation all the element are correctly documented for the reference purpose need are high level representation of the term and the result for example uh, you need to get a business uh, analyst job and the requirement to apply for this job as a resume educational back background and interview practice okay so basically this is the uh, requirement and the need okay so what you need third one is the what is the uh, what is the business mode uh, modeling okay so business modeling is a step by step approach uh, for identifying the value uh, proportion of the operation the business so basically we have the uh, different type of the business modeling uh, we have the vision we have the mission we have the objective we have the strategies we have the action plan uh, we also have the some type of the uh, rca as well okay some involvement uh, so basically more uh, into the what action plan you perform so basically the project will be uh, improved so this is the also part of the business analyst interview question now what is the project life cycle and uh, which model will you uh, employ and why so basically when we start the uh, project uh, each and every business analyst we have need to be uh, choose one uh, uh, basically model okay some uh, some of the uh, best we need to be discuss with the client also uh, someone will go with the waterfall model uh, spiral model iterative model agile methodology v shape model so we have the different different uh, uh, working way the waterfall model we have the completely uh, project de develop and then we can deploy uh, where agile methodology we have the iteration type of the like a couple of the co code is uh, developed and we need to be sent for the testing and if the client required any type of the enhancement in the middle we can uh, enhance the project so uh, basically uh, 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 based on the client requirement we need to be use the any of the methodology in the project now the last question is the what is the difference between incremental and iterative development okay so uh, this two methodology very important when we work in the development area uh, so basically when we have the incremental model and uh, iterative model both are used for the software development process that focus on delivering a small uh, frequent updated rather than large frequently one the main difference between two approaches is the incremental model model uh, deliver functionality in the small uh, discrete chunk while iterative development focus on the delivering large piece of the functional in incremental so basically let's see the one example here uh, like incremental like i have one project like i need to be uh, develop one uh, mobile app okay like uh, teach for the uh, any type of the education mobile app so one piece of the like one uh, like for question bank we created and we can send back to the client that uh, this is created and you can uh, see if you need to be required any enhancement then we can uh, enhance the product okay so in the incremental model in the middle you can fix the problem you can enhance the product but uh, when we have this some um, iterative uh, development completely product is developed then we need to be uh, sent to the client so if any product enhancement required it very difficult to enhance we need to again start from the scratch so that is the main difference between the incremental and iterative model uh, so hope uh, you understand the, all this point and if you have any question uh, if you have any doubt you can put the question doubt in the video description and please don't forget to subscribe this video thank you so much